Yo, what's up? Oh yeah, I got this app here, Koala app. I'm sort of using that with uh, SP404. So, by now, I know you already have stems. Most of you guys. And I know you're trying to play with it, trying to get the best out of the stems in the past several, two weeks maybe it's been out now. Uh, here it's the 10th, it came out the end of uh, March. So yeah, almost two weeks in the change. And it, I love the app, it's really cool. And I realized too, a lot of you guys have been using the app of course, you can only use the app on your software. Then you want to take it and put it into your hardware, right? And then play with it in there than rather having it in here. Uh, I guess that's so confusing. But that's what people want to do. And I understand that. But I do like that Akai has been making people go into the software. Because a lot of people have always been telling me, I don't use this software, I use the standalone. Which I do understand. But in reality, the standalone is a computer. And this is a computer. You got me. I'm on a Mac Book Pro, and it's cool. I love it. I'm working great with an M1 chip, fast and curious. But as you can see right here, I'm editing samples up right now. And this is a weird looking sample for you. But don't worry, but I'll explain this one day in my next video. But for sure, stems is great. But when you're in the software and you're dealing with the software, take one of your tracks you've got, stick it inside your MPC because it'll read it too no matter what and start trying to look at the mixing system. So when I do this, I have some fun doing that actually. This is the mixing board, let's play a track. Right here, I'm in the mixing board. Oh, I got that delay. So I'm here in the mixing board inside the MPC. And I can pull up the programs right here. We've got a couple of programs lined up. You know, and I got audio tracks. No, I don't. If I did, I'd pull them up there. They're out, right? If I have mini tracks, I pull them up here. No, I'm not doing that. Pull it over here. Of course, everything's mini, but I just want to deal with what I see in the pads. And so you'll see here, this is different than using the standalone hardware because I have everything in one place. Now, on my hardware, I have to go to my pad mixer, which is right here on top. See these pads here? It's my pad mixer right here. And I would go to here to hear it back. And this is the pad mixer section you'll see. Except it's horizontal, not vertical. So, so you gotta see this little thing and turn the little thing there. And I don't get that because I am a recording engineer too. So I have gotta like see it in terms of faders to feel love. You know, and what I've learned all the time was where my where my faders are and how to move my faders around, and make sure I have what I wanna have. And so I come to here, I can see that. At the same time, I'll also see right here on the edge here, I will see that right over here. I can see my master fader for the program, which is right here, right? And so if I go to the next set right here, I see everything. I've got my pads up here. I got the output from the pads, so I press play start. I can bring this down slowly. The drums are still there because I have a send. See that there's a send here. I'm using the subgroup and sending my drums, not to the program, but to the subgroup which appears down here. I can come to here and lift this up. Whoa, there it is right down there. This is my sound. I can bring this up to it and sound. Bring it down. I can also see the program up there, but here also as well. Stop that. That's pretty cool to do. And I can also come to here and pull this down. Now, normally on my MPC-1 or MPC-X, I have to go there and press the pad mixer, the channel mixer. Then in channel mixer, I can go to my send or go to returns or go to my master output. So I've got to push too many buttons to get there. And my thing has been uh, to keep my machine not too many buttons pushed. Keep it fresh and keep it looking good in case one day I want to sell it and get the MPC key 37. Get my idea. You know what I'm trying to do? You know what I'm talking about now? I'm trying to get that machine. So I want to make sure this machine stays cool. So what I'm going to do here generally is going to use my software. And if you're using stems now, check out the software. See how the mixer goes. I'll make more stuff on mixing, but this is just so cool to do it from here. Now watch this also. I pull this up. And now we can see here's my master fader right here. From my master right here, you can see I have effects on my master output. As a matter of fact, watch this. I'm going to play the music. I'm going to turn the master off. Well, what happened? Where, where, where's everybody at, right? 
Well, I can see this right here. I know what I'm doing. Everything's right in front of me. I want to see the master fader. I can see the inserts everywhere. I can see inserts all across the mixing system. This is a better way to look at your MPC software when you want to mix your tracks up, give some an idea of how dope your stuff sounds. So I come back to here. Oh yeah, now it's louder, it's more in there. Now what I've got here pretty much, as I can tell you right now, this is a parametric EQ. So I've got this right here, and where'd it go? I don't see it right now, so I gotta go back over here. And sometimes this will happen too. Where is it? So over here it is, right there. It comes up right there, my parametric EQ. I go back to here, and it comes back over here too. So I'll see that my parametric EQ, and it comes up here like that. I can adjust this. You see this says light smile. I'll pull this one up too. And this one here is supposed to be the limiter. And you see the limiter right there, right? And I'll go back over here again. And then I'll come to here. I've got a, a width, stereo width, and I also have a maximizer. I'll pull to here. And I'll see everything right there. I'll pull back over here. And I'll see it, of course. Now, I'll do this and adjust these sounds. And adjust my way that these plugins affect the sounds. And it's so cool to have it in front of me all at once. Rather than having to go inside and push a button and pull this up and see that and affect this and use this other button. It takes a lot of time for me to do that. And I want to move as fast as possible. I want you to check out the mixing system because it works pretty cool. Now, if you need any lessons on how to use an MPC, a machine, or how to use, let's see, a rolling device, any rolling device, that means keyboards and all the SP505, 303, 404, uh, MPC, uh, no, the Roland MV8000, MV88, well, you got my point. We know how to use all this. We have videos and all that stuff on our website here in YouTube. So, anything you want to learn, need help with, we can do that software too as well. If you got any questions, you can also call us because we do have a phone. And this day we have a phone. I've got a, I got a phone. This is not just Koala. It's also a phone. I love this idea. The new world is beautiful. And so here, as you can see right here, we have lessons. You can get le my phone numbers here. I have a phone number you can call me. Isn't that deep? I'm not hiding anywhere. I'm in Tokyo. Can't hide here. I'm the only black guy in the neighborhood. <laughs> I'll see you the next time I'm online. And I'm going to have some sushi right now, maybe. But I'm waiting for the next earthquake. Getting ready. I'll see you in a few.